Well, hi everybody and welcome to Midweek Match Chat. As you can see, we're not out of the bank. We're in the realms of winter and we're in our nice warm studio here at Maybe UK headquarters to bring you Midweek Match Chat. Yep, we're going to be filming some, we're going to be doing some lives just to keep you, you know, keep that little bit of fishing, gossip, talk, laughs along the way. That's going to be coming along for you, yeah, every week, just like normal. And I've got good friend and director of product development with me, Stephen Bell. Hi, guys, how are you doing? Nice to see you again. Yeah, Steve, I think this is a great idea. It's not nice out on the banks at it's the minute. It's blooming vile outside. I'm yeah. so glad that we've done it because it's, it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's an horrible day out there. And yeah, winter's, yeah quickly approaching us. We haven't had no real bad weather yet, but it's it's quickly approaching. It's certainly approaching. around the corner, isn't it? It's certainly fact. It won't be long before, before we're all slinging icebreakers out. Oh, no. Not no, for no, you. Don't, <laughs> even, don't, even, don't even go there, Steve, on that. But, as as you know, and, and as I'll tell all your uh, lovely people out there, uh, time doesn't stand still in the fishing trade. No. And, you know, we have new products. We do indeed. You're working on new products. Oh, in yeah. fact, we're both working on new products. We're talking to each other mm-hmm. on new products uh, and things like that. So, although a lot of you guys probably put your gear away, a lot of people put the gear away, don't they? They yeah. do, a lot of them yeah, do. So, uh, all there you is guys... some hardy ones out there. That, <laughs> yeah, like uh, me and you, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thin. Nutters, yeah. nutters I'd like nutters. to say. Yeah. A few yeah. nutters out there what do enjoy the, uh, the winter fishing yeah. that still, still go all year. But, uh, yeah. So we're still working on lots and lots of new products, Steve. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, 2020, uh, 2020 late, well, the last part of 2023, December through to 2024, some really exciting things coming from May of the UK. Lots of new products, um, lots of premium level products, mid-range, which is sure to get the people out there salivating. I think so, Steve, you know, you, we, we, we like to think we cater for every, every yeah. market, don't we? Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, and that's, that's what we do, and that's what we want to do, and that's what we want to carry on doing yeah so you know we've got a few new little items here which are all in stock yeah all in stock stock. all good to go yeah you'll have seen a few of these from previous match chats when me and steve were out on the bank doing things like the new rods and the reels we're getting you a few little sneak previews a few little sneak previews very sneaky but uh they're in shops now steve all these products aren't we all good to go yeah all in shops available from your local maver dealer um, so yeah, get out and Which is good. have a look at them. Yeah, really, really, really good. So, what's your plan of action? You know, we've <laughs> said we've said a lot of people put the gear away in winter, and yeah, yeah, nutters like us. You know, we still go every year. So, uh, go on. What, what's your winter plans? What's what's your winter plans? And yeah, we can have a little bit of fishing talk then. Yeah, well, I'm on two leagues this year. Two I'm fishing uh, Tunnel Barn Farm teams of four with Team Maver. Um, first round was last week. We came third overall, which was a great result off. Um, not a great draw, uh, and I'm also on the Packington Summers Individual Winter League. And uh, for you guys out there, don't ever poke the beast. I made a really, really stupid <laughs> mistake. I don't know if anyone's seen it. I made a it's really, really poke. stupid you mistake. Give me a little bit of a poke. Uh, I, I poked Phil Canyon um, <laughs> ah, <well, yeah, laughs> to try yeah. winding up, and he's in my section, um, and he absolutely chip shot me. Oh, uh, did he? Uh, just did he plan revenge? Did he? Did uh, he? Well, he's a phenomenal angler anyway, um, and I I poked him a little bit too hard, oh, but he didn't half whoop me. Oh well, so, yeah. Well, goes round. Humility. Goes round, comes them. round, Stephen. I doubt goes it. round, comes <laughs> round. I doubt it. But, yeah, no, I've been fishing the leagues. I've been concentrating on my F1 fishing. And, obviously, oh. we were talking about this earlier, the F1s. I know you don't like the pellet liquors. But... I like them when they're about that big. <laughs> no, we were talking about this earlier. Yeah. We were talking about the quality. You've got adverts on too. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll skip the adverts. We don't want to see somebody with that. Yeah. Doing that do we? We'll go back to yeah. Jamie. Yeah, good one. <laughs> good looking lad, Jamie. We'll talk about my system a bit, actually. But... Yeah, we're going back to the, the quality of the leagues. Oh, and, I... and certainly, the quality of the leagues in the Midlands is, is ridiculous. It so. is. I, you know, I... I don't do any F1 fishing, as you know. It's not really my forte, but I actually look at that mm. Tunnel Barn Farm League. Yeah. And boy, it's the Uzu. It's the Uzu of F1 anglers out there. Like, mm. And I look at them, I think, yeah, geez, that is, that is some league. I think that is probably one of the strongest leagues, I personally think, throughout England. Yeah, definitely. Winter time. Oh, 100%. Winter time. And you've got... 
you've got levels of anglers there that are just, I mean, absolutely phenomenal. You've got the likes of Paul Holland, which is there. Oh. Jack, Jack yeah. Danby is absolutely Jack Danby, yeah. tearing Jack Danby, yeah, the Jack Danby, yeah, known from Dynamite. Yeah. yeah, some people are saying he's feeding 11 points of maggots. I'm sure Jack will watch this. So 11 points? Give him 11 points. He's got some maggots. money in there, hasn't he? I know, yeah, He's definitely. got some money if he's got so. it. They're paying him too much. <laughs> no, you're paying him too much, Dad, like Dynamite, if he's feeding 11 points. No, but, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of leagues going on at the moment where the quality, the quality is absolutely uh, ridiculous. But yeah, the... Absolutely. The, the fishing at Tunnel Barn Farm and um, the, the quality of angler there. Oh, it's, it's a phenomenal league. I know well, there's some lads up from Yorkshire. I know Paul Yates, who yeah, runs Donny Fishing yeah, Centre. Mm. He uh, comes down. Andy, Andy Bailey, who's a good good friend of mine. Yeah, they come down and fish that league. And, you know, you look at the results and it's like, yeah, it's it's the who's who of F1 anglers. Half man, half F1 that, uh, that fish down there. But great league. It's big payouts as well, Steve. Yeah, it's great. It's a, it's a great money league, but also it's a great league in, in terms of a development. What I will say to you guys out there is if you are in a team or uh, and you want to get better and you're interested in team fishing, have a look at the Tunnel Bar Farm League because uh, it's a team to four competition, but you you literally are in with the creme de la creme of, of F1 fishing um, and finesse fishing. Um, and you learn so much by it being is, around these it, people. That is, a, yeah, it's a great way of learning, you know, mm. by watching other anglers. You know, that's one little bit of advice I give all you people out yeah. there, you know. Watch, watch, listen, learn, ask questions. You yeah. Know. Don't be afraid to go up and, you know, speak to these guys, speak to the likes of Jamie's and, and Steve's and, you know, the Paul Owens of this world. They'll tell you anything. They'll yeah. tell you because you've still got to do it. Yeah, exactly. You've still got to do it. Got to There'll do always be one back. step in front, but, you know, Ask, ask the questions. Mm. Ask the questions. Mm. Um, it is. And, well, my fishing, I'll tell you all about My fishing is a completely different scale to all it's that. It's chuck it and chance it. That's what I'm not having it. <laughs> I'm not having it, Stephen. No, I'm not having that. Uh, it's, there's no chuck and chance about it. I um, Most of my fishing through winter all evolves around uh, the feeder qualifiers, the, yeah. the golden rod uh, feeder qualifiers through winter and the... Carper League, which we have at, at Hayfield on a Sunday, which I must say uh, is a fantastic league. It's, yeah. it's, I think there's nearly 70 anglers what's joined it this year. Uh, big payouts again. Uh, myself and Steve Clay run that for our sins. And, uh, but yeah, what we'll a, go on to that. We'll go on to match organising yeah, in a bit what as a, well. What a, what a fantastic league. Mm. Uh, to fish that and yeah obviously the uh, you know the golden rod uh, feeder qualifier has got my tickets for that mm-hmm. already fished two uh, I've had a second in zone and a, a just missed that uh, on two so far so it's like close but no seagull I've not got that qualifying place yet but uh, it's no, going to be around the corner though I'm hoping so I'm hoping you're right <laughs> I'm hoping I can sell the way you draw I'm it. hoping I can sell rest of my tickets oh, here we go um I qualified first time last year, but mm-hmm. certainly not this year. I was second individual. Mm. Uh, but the Carper League qualifier, we have to qualify for the final. That's the job done. First yeah. time, first time straight in, £165, won the match. Thank you very much. It's now easy days for me. I can sit there, eat my chocolate like that, drink the flask and like, oh, here we go. So, uh, so it's yeah. about picking up the money now along the way. Yeah, just picking them, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully you know. Uh, yeah. But they're a great match, Steve. There's like mm. been 60 people every week. That's a great turn, especially this time of year. Yeah, through winter. Mm. Uh, yeah, there must be another 58 nutters then, like me and you are. Yeah, uh, I think uh, there's more than that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it is, it's just a, a great, great league uh, to go in. Mm. Uh, good banter along the way. But the fishing will get harder. Yeah. As, it, as we all know, it's going to get harder. Tunnel will probably it'll get harder when it'll come to bread dobbing and things like that yeah definitely it's, it's some very specialist methods that come into play uh, well that's perhaps the... something we can talk about <laughs> definitely as we get further along and further into the realms of winter we can we can start to discuss some of these tactics what's now coming into play and, and you know as Steve says the chuck and chance uh, method of mine there's little t- <laughs> you can tell I've really offended him uh, yeah, I actually yeah, didn't mean it <laughs> yeah I don't want to say it, it actually rings me up and says I need a little bit of advice on that ah alright okay. it's true it is yeah, true it, you right, right, he did ring me up I'm having a few pro- ah right you need to do this so yeah there is these little tricks little wrinkles yeah. like anything Steve there'll be mm-hmm. little tips for F1 fishing and stuff mm-hmm. like which some of these lovely viewers will not know and what I will say like in this first sort of match chat what we're doing if you have any questions which you want to ask myself, 
you want to ask Steve, we're going to have other uh, sponsored anglers in yeah, as well. Definitely. Uh, we're going to have the likes of Sam Brown, Callum Dix, John Alexander, uh, Matty Powell. Uh, yeah. All of them are going to be coming on the, the, on the, yeah. on the show to um, answer all your questions. And all of them are very, very versatile anglers and, and very good at a, a lot of different things. All and, different things. And Steve. they're all spread around the country yeah. as well. So it's good that you're just not getting like a Midlands perspective or a Northern perspective. You're getting people like Andy Mann. Uh, who, from, who, who fishes? He's from Wales. Isn't he? He's from Wales. You've got John Alexander up uh, up north, oh, Hallway. Yeah. So you know you're getting a you're getting a, a complete view of of the match fishing scene from around the UK. Nice full full spectrum and all do different things through uh, through winter, which yeah can only be good and add to uh, versatility. Yeah, definitely. Who have we got on the screen? Have no, talking, Sam? Yeah, talking is to Sam Brown. Brown. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> I just up to Yeah, we've got Sam to Brown. match this plane in the background, as you can see. Tickets are on sale now, Steve, aren't they? They are. So tickets are on sale now. All the qualifier, all the qualifiers are booked and good to go. Um, so, yeah, Can't get wait. your tickets. I mean, if you haven't seen the, the, the matches final, you're not too sure about if you want to enter. The video that's playing now is on YouTube. It's available to watch. Just type in matches 2023. Uh, what a final. That it was. was a final, weren't it? Yeah, I'm, final, I, you know, I'm definitely going to say congratulations to Andy Bennett. I yeah. know we said it in our match chats, but what a fantastic performance from Andy. Kept Considering we're all saying that Jamie's won. Yeah, we all thought you were winning. Don't worry, I'll give, I'll give him a round on the day off camera, <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, for that. But it, it was a great day, Steve, weren't it? The crowds it turned out. You can see by the crowds up there, you know, actual people watching. Yeah. The sun shone for us, yeah. which uh, which made it a lot, lot better. Yeah. And, you know... Airfield Lakes didn't let us down, did it, when it comes to a final? No, it's a, fantastic, it, it's a fantastic venue for a big money final. It was um, a really, really close final, weren't it? Which, it was. Yeah, half a dozen people were an hour to go. We're I still know. in that race, weren't we? Well, we had Mike McMillan, we had uh, Jamie, we Jamie. had Andy. Who else was it? Andy Powell. Was Andy, Andy Powell was, yeah, was in the Andy Sam Brown will come in with later on talking was, around yeah. there. He was. Yeah. Right, one thing I will tell you, just on, the, on this picture, he'll not catch us out next year because... See that willow tree? It's been cut down. It's gone. Is this it, is this Nolly's bush? This was one of Nolly's bushes, yeah. but obviously she's been off ill with her, her leg and yeah. everything. Robin's absolutely demolished that willow tree. It's gone. The JCB so said no about snidiness, it. No, no snidy no, fish on the short line. No, he came up with his favourite toy in the world, the digger, and it went bosh, gone. Yeah. So that willow tree is no more. So in next year's final. 31st of August, 31st we'll of August. be able to have a full view of everybody on that lake. Oh, can't oh. wait. So, no mistakes with the, with the uh, who's winning. I don't think we made a mistake, really. <laughs> we just kept everybody guessing. Yeah. That's to be I fair, I think, anyway. I think half of it is down to the bank runners, uh, to be fair. Was it Connor, was it, that was running yeah, for Andy Yeah, Andy Blaine. blamed him, didn't he? Yeah. Andy blamed Connor <laughs> in the end. Yeah, so yeah. Connor got the blame for it. Then um, I blamed Connor, and yeah. then he swung it back onto Andy, <laughs> and... Uh, I think they were both blaming each other by ending. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, he walked away with fifty grand, and he's a wor- he was a worthy, worthy winner. Was, uh, was Andy, uh, very, very humble man, uh, but a fantastic angler, absolutely fantastic. It really has angler. opened up the door now for who's going to have the tr- name on the trophy. Oh, twice, oh yeah, it's um, there's a serial finalist that are in it every single year, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and there's what four, there's five of them now, isn't there? With yeah. with the name on the trophy, what won it? What again. won it? Yeah, exactly. You so, won't bet against Jamie uh, or Andy. But you certainly won't get or bet Sam. against Andy. You won't bet against Sam. No. Uh, and you certainly won't bet against Andy Power. He's been in every no. finals, Andy Power. I know. That, like... When I think about that fact, every single time you bring it up, uh, match this. I remember before when we're doing the draw and you're you're announcing for Andy Power to come up on the stage to, to pick his peg, and you're saying now to a guy that's been in every single every match, every single match, it this absolutely time. blows my mind. There's guys out there like myself. I've I've done it before that have chased the qualifying dream and. You know, you've had your, your third, your seconds, but <laughs> this guy is qualifying every single year. It's unbelievable, it's isn't it? It's phenomenal. Don't get me wrong, he's a, he's a chaser. He chases them all. He chases yeah. fishing mania's. He chases the golden rods. He chases yeah. this one, uh, the fish midlands ones he does, the fish south. You know, he chases the lot. He wins a bit of dough as well along yeah, the way. Yeah, he doesn't bad along the way, <laughs> does he? Like, yeah, yeah, he doesn't bad along the way. But, no. you know, fishing's his life. And, you know, mm. he's from... An angler what we'd never even heard of, he suddenly comes onto the scene and it's mm. like boom, mm. and he just takes it apart. He's very, very quick thinking. Yeah. Quick, he's quick, he's quick thinking. If he if he knows something's not going right, he changes and he he does. That is the difference between that is. I'd like to think that is the I'd, difference. I'd like to say he does daft things. 
but he, he done. He mm. done. They're all up here. Yeah. And you think, what's he done that for? But there's rhyme and reasoning behind why they and this is what makes their I can tell you a, the funny, I can tell you a funny story about Andy there's Powell. No better time you to know, tell and, the I, story. and I'm not speaking behind your back, Andy, <laughs> watching this. I'm I'm really, really not. We once drew uh an expect I've drawn a side in him numerous times actually. Yeah. I think it's about five three on his side. At the minute, and I, I've drawn him this one day, and I was catching a few fish, and, and he was like, not catching, and this and that, and, and it was, it were real, it were real nip and tuck, but I was in front of him, and I didn't, I didn't think to myself, I've got him here, or you get cocky and you've got him, but like two hours through the match, or three hours through the match, he stood up off his box, he's walked up the bank, he's gone in his bag, he's opened a can of pop. And he's got a banana. And he, yeah, gospel to a gospel to He's got this banana and he's like, feel this banana. And he's stood there and he's like, he's at this banana. Having he, a think. Yeah, I think it must have been. He's got the skin, he's put it in his bag, he's got this can. And then he's delved into his bag, he's pulled his bag, he, he's mixed a bit. And then he's promptly sat down at his peg and absolutely emptied it. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So you got up your peg, you went to um, your bag, you got a can match, of pop, opened after, a banana. <laughs> after the match, I've gone up to him and went, Christ almighty, Andy, what were in that banana? Because <laughs> you sat down and he went, and he's a man of few words, is Andy. I've, I've, I've become good friends with Andy, but he's still quite a quiet and shy guy. And he's like, looked at me and give me that, <laughs> that little smirky yeah. smile as if to say, well, wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. And he absolutely like, well, he didn't annihilate me, but he's ended up beating me and he's like, I want to know where he gets them bananas from. Uh, but but that's, yeah, well, these are the, this is that exactly Sunday all over. Yeah, the mid-match decisions that these anglers, the next level of anglers, are making. This these snap decisions. They don't get it wrong. They don't get it wrong, and it's the de- and, it, and if they do get it wrong, they change. They make another yeah. snap decision and get it right uh, pretty much straight away. We were talking about this uh, in the office earlier when we were talking about doing the, the podcast and the videos. We we're talking about different anglers. We we're talking about Andy Bennett. And um, I can't remember who it was. Andy Bennett's really tasty at pool. Yeah. Like you, you yeah. find I've got I've got a couple of friends that you know that whatever they turn their hand to, whether they're it's good. darts, whether it's pool, whether it's fishing, they're good at everything. They're naturally they're gifted. Naturally, ta- they're naturally, naturally gifted. gifted. And I, talented. I, for one, I'm so grateful to have for these blokes <laughs> that are in the sport because they're, they're revolutionising the way that we do things. We're fishing, and yeah. you know, we 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 we're learning more and more about. Um, about match fishing and how to compete yeah. and how to you yeah. know fish for certain species. These um, guys, are, yeah, they just got it. It's they, yeah, they're, they're very very good at it. They're a, lot, they're a lot younger. Yeah, they're not a lot the, young than, than me anyway. I think you got, you got a few years on there. <laughs> yeah, I've got a few years. Left. There's a few years left in tank. Yeah, I think uh, we go from there. But yeah, match tickets are on sale. So you know, get yourself these match tickets. You know, take the light to these on. You know, they're not. They're not super you, but we build them up to be superheroes and whatever. But you know, they've got two arms, they've got two legs like you, and you know, get them on the right day, right peg, right day. It's anybody's in it, Absolutely. so you've got to be in it to win it. If you're not in it, you can't win it. Yeah. And you know, and the beauty of somewhere like Hayfield is you, you're, you're always in you're it, you're always in it because you could have some an eight pound fish, next fish could be a 20 pound fish. Yeah, you can it's, have an arrival, and it's like, yeah, it's yeah. Kind of, it happened to Sam the prior yeah. 2021, yeah. no, 20. 2022. 2022. 2022. Yeah. Um, when he had that arrival down the edge. Yeah, an arrival that edge, and yeah. And we that were, was it. We were filming it, and it's like, oh dear, this could get interesting. Yeah. And sure enough, it did, and yeah. Yeah, he walked away with 50 grand. Beautiful 50 grand. Thank you very much. <laughs> Never bought me a drink for that, did I, actually, Sam? No. Yeah. Oh, I gave him a new cap, and he, yeah. he used his new cap to do the draw for 2023, and he ended up qualifying. And I t- he actually he came into the offices to pick up a, a new keep net um, the day before, and I gave him a new cap. And I said to him, you're not going to qualify. At the, I can't remember what I said. You're not going to qualify here, but you're going to qualify on this one. He did. And he did. Yeah. So we've got, look, we, we can disagree <laughs> on loads of people here on this. We might have some lawsuits coming at us here, Steve, if we're not careful. Yeah. But yeah, great. Get on the match this uh, uh, bandwagon. Uh, yeah, we're going to be cranking up all the advertising. Great Christmas present. I'm going to say it at this stage. Great Christmas present. You don't know what to buy. You know, your husband or your son or whatever, great Christmas friend. 50 quid a ticket. Yeah, definitely. Just love to, it. Yeah, open that card and that lovely golden ticket might be just laying there in front on the on the card. Like, what a what a fantastic uh, Christmas friend. I'd like to learn that, be all right. Yeah, it'd be lovely, wouldn't yeah, it? would be a great present. I'd like 50 grand more. Yeah. But you need to have the ticket to get the 50 but grand. But you've got to be in it to win but it. you need to win it.
I'm talking about Christmas presents, that's what I am going to say. Uh, Steve, new stuff? We have, we've got a lot of new stuff, and a lot of new stuff coming out towards the back end of 2023, and a very exciting 2024, might I add. Yeah, I'll say it, you know, uh, time stands still for no man in uh, the angling trade, and you, you know, anglers like to see new products. Definitely. And, you know, I think they think we bring a new product out and it's like you think about it last week and you bring it out the week after but you know some of these products are six eight nine months 12 months 18 months in in the meta yeah, definitely coming and arriving and things like that so definitely it's a it's a big thing is product development and mm-hmm. it how in how it it works especially in the trade sort of thing so yeah christmas is on the way all these products which we're going to show you now we've already had little sneaky previews aren't we sneaky we previews in our, yeah, in our out but on the, these are all in stock steve aren't they, they are all, all in stock, stock yeah. available to get from your local motorist office so uh go on out have a look at them but i'm sure andy kinder will be pleased to model the first one which oh is, look at this look at this, this is the, uh, the maver bubble hat oh, go on andy can't wait can't Still got the tag on you, haven't I? Sorry, Steve, right? <laughs> Not that one, though. <laughs> yeah, so these are available um, from all, well, all Maver stockists across the UK, but also they're available from www.mavermaps.co.uk uh, with an RRP of uh, 13.99. So You've got to love a bobble, haven't you? You've got yeah. to love one. Especially this time of year. Well, the, I'm going to say, Steve, you know, if you're going out, if you're going out in the winter, uh, get yourself wrapped up because it's not worse than being cold on the bank and, you know, mm. you lose... Certainly a lot of heat through your head. You lose uh, the majority of the heat for your head, which yeah. is a lot of people. This is how I wear that. mine on the bank. I always have my peak cap on and I wear it like that. That's exactly how I wear it. Yeah. Just like that. And I've still got my peak, so I'm, I'm keeping the low sun levels out of my eyes, but I've got that nice one. Wow, that's pretty I'm gonna leave that on, Steve, right? So I might get might get warm in our little room, but I'm gonna <laughs> leave it on. I'm gonna leave it on because yeah, we'll pretend we're having a rod drag round. Uh, type bite but uh, yeah Bob that's great make great Christmas presents and um, yeah Steve give you your details where to get them from and they are available in Maver Stockers as well as on our own shop online but yeah just love a Bob that sorry I can't <laughs> say no more about it I just absolutely love a Bob I've got loads and loads and loads of them at home right well let's have a look at some proper hardcore tackle now what we're going to be using out there on the bank Steve okay. so let's have a look at these reels these are new uh, they are indeed uh, as you know I think you're fantastic. I really, really yeah. do. Uh, yeah. For the money, value for money. Yeah. Uh, what you actually get with them, the winding power and everything on them. So come on, Steve, tell me a little bit more about them because yeah, I've been using them out there. I use the prototypes and everything. Mm-hmm. Let's tell all our viewers just yeah, just how good they are, really. Yeah. So when I was looking at the the reels which we had previously, um, and also where the real market was, I noticed that there was a little bit of a gap um, for a a a affordable um, power reel, uh, an out and out power reel out there, which is where the MBR commercial power reels were really, yep. really born, the concept of them and what they were for. Um, so these are available in two different sizes. So we've got the three and a half thousand size and we've got the four and a half thousand size. And with these two sizes, I feel like it covers the majority of fishing out there. I think you're right, Steve. Waggler, does, yeah. feeder, bomb. Waggler, feeder, bomb. Yeah, you definitely. Know, it, it's covered in it, in, in those two sizes. Yeah. Yeah. We can have the bigger reels for the for long distance work, but mm-hmm. you know, these are the this size. I think the four and a half is easily, you know, up to 60, 70 meters. You're going to cover that because of the big spool. What what's on and it? And that's so. the key feature to do with this reel because this reel, I would class this reel as an out out feeder reel, the four and a half yeah, thousand definitely. size feeder reel, and it's really trendy at the moment with the big spool size, uh, the extra winding power, the retrieve ratio on it is is fantastic. So it's bang up that street and. Obviously, you touched on it before. Um, yeah. At Maver UK, something that we're really, really passionate about it is is um, bringing fantastic products to market at an affordable price. Um, we're in the middle of a really, really bad cost of living crisis. It's, it's tough, is, tough for everybody. It's tough out for there, everybody. Yeah. So we're doing our very, very best to bring you quality products at the right price point. And just to touch upon that, you can go into the shop today. The three and a half thousand uh, will set you back forty four ninety nine, and the four and a half thousand will set you back forty nine ninety nine. Um, which for the quality of the reel and fantastic. what you get included it is, is great value for money. You know, years and years and years ago, you know, a reel like that would easily be setting you back 150, 150 pound plus. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, yeah, you're getting, you're getting top quality there at yeah, yeah, realistic sort of price. And these have been flying off the shelves as well. <laughs> yeah, they have. They've been, they've been really good, haven't they? They've been yeah. received well. And I know a lot of people out there have asked me about the reels and, 
and I've told you about the, the, they were coming in and from coming in shops have had them shops have reordered them so mm -hmm. you know they are selling through and uh, I like the feature as well Steve they've got a double line clip on yeah definitely you know, a lot of reels uh, they, they ain't got double line clip yeah it's a little bit gimmick but you're fishing two different two different uh, lengths uh, feeder fishing in particular you can you can double clip it up yeah it's a great feature that spot is. between the two lines which is you know a great little thing yeah not the be all and end all of things but just that little bit of something different something mm. different and yeah winding power on them is uh, is second to none so uh, yeah really 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 like them reels and uh, yeah you need to get get down your local shop guy, guys and check these out because you know value for money if you're in in the market for uh, a reel check them out but if you've got a reel you have to put it on a rod. We're going to the stars of the show. You know, the stars I'll, I'll, of the I'll show. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll come back down to the <laughs> after that. But so, if you buy yourself a reel, why not treat yourself to a rod? Definitely. And uh, where where better to start than the the RXX range of rods, which have been released over the last couple of months, um, which have gone down an absolute storm. Um, These have been brilliant, Steve. The rods, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. We will say, we'll say, and this is something which we've touched upon in the videos, I know you've touched upon in the videos that you've put out there, that these are specialist rods, specialist feeder rods, so they're, they're not your everyday um, commercial feeder rods, um, they are pretty much method rods, aren't they? Yeah, they're method designed rods. for feeder fishing for big for fish, big, for big, big carp, fish, yeah. big carp yeah. uh, at the end of the day. Um, most, most of your commercial fishes now, you've got your fish what started off at this big, and uh, this big and even this big in play, you know, fishermen's lie, they like this big. It's like the one under fisherman, that big. Uh, you know, uh, they, but there's some massive fish in places, Steve, isn't there? Perfect a perfect example. I mean, the reasons why these rods were developed, when, when I was looking at I was watching footage of stuff like the Golden Rod, Golden Reel uh, final, where people are fishing method feeders, underarm, underarm uh, down yeah. the edges, <clears throat> and the hooking fish, you know, up to 30 pound in matches. Um, and the rods that are available out there on the market um, are quite soft. Yeah, um, you, you're not you're not going to land a fish. No, on no. a normal type bomb no. rod if it's twenty five pound yeah. plus. So these rods were developed uh, especially for those sort of situations where you're chucking uh, the thirteen foot, for example. You're chucking a hundred meters plus uh, with with your big hybrids, big methods, and then down to the ten foot. Um, which we have here to Absolute, show you. Absolute build. Absolute yeah, down to 10 foot for situations where you've got little underarm chucks to islands, features, or even down the edges, but you need uh, almost like a, we described it as a hybrid rod, so it's a, it's a, it's a, a cross between a it's carp a rod. cross between a carp and rod a and a feeder rod, rod isn't it? Yeah. Um, but, but what we've actually produced in this Frankenstein uh, blank. Good, I like that. Good way it is, yeah. Frankenstein Frank blank. It was green as well. Yeah, it was, it yeah. Was. yeah. So yeah. this Frankenstein blank is a rod which surpassed all of our expectations, really, in testing. Um, and we've created a bit of a monster. It is a monster. Um, and everybody that's used it, we've had Steve Brin, I've had Steve Brinley out testing yeah, these Steve before they come out. Me, yeah. Steve's been using them and his eyes lit up and he came back with a massive smile on his face. And Sam Brown, obviously, yeah. um, he's flung a few feeders, feeders in his time. He's been out on the bank with them and he's, he's had nothing but, you know, great words to say about it but again coming back to the current situation that we're in the cost of living crisis <coughs> a rod like this um i mean if you're looking at the market with all the features it's got food reveal seats it's got snagless guides yeah the guides are so the guides, guides. the guides are so important in uh, in these rods we we wanted the proper yeah definitely i mean comparative rods with a 1k carbon weave and all of these features you're looking to set you back you know need 400 quid, 400 quid. um maybe uk great value for money again these every single one of these rods is coming in under um under 200 quid yeah yeah yeah, they, yeah they're from one you're 180 to just just over yeah, 200, just quid, 200 quid, quid, which yeah. is a fantastic price isn't it we, we ought to we ought to tell people about the story when we had the first 10 foot come through really oh yeah which what, what the the broom handle oh. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we we will laugh. We've so we got to laugh about yeah, it because well, that, it was so funny. Wasn't so it? you guys going back? Obviously, Andy touched but on previously about product development, how long it takes to actually bring products to market, and it's it's really interesting because when I'm out on the bank, I can't escape it these days. So I get questions off people about when's product coming in. Wednesdays, um, Wednesdays, Wednesdays, Wednesday, 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 you, you can't get away yeah. from it. But um, to get to a finished product like this. Um, I think I've had three different versions that I've had out and testing. The first version that we had sent across after sending the specification 
across I reckon oh my I life. reckon we could have got a great white shark in on it oh my life it, and I'm not even exaggerating am I yeah I came down here didn't you? Like, <laughs> I, want, I want to show you these rods and they're like right okay yeah and we get the 10 foot out he went it's a bit pokey. Exact, <laughs> no no his exact words were it's a little bit of a beast it is a bit of a beast well I've got all of it he's got he's nearly literally <laughs> lifted me off the floor I'm like oh hang on a minute Steve it's a bit powerful that yeah and Oh, it was, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It so was. a lot of back and forth, and this is this is something which obviously the our manufacturers <laughs> a lot of back and forth with the manufacturers, um, reducing percentages in certain areas of the rods, the carrier section, um, the, the butt <laughs> section as well, and eventually um, we got to a, a a composite and a you know a, a an action which. You know, I was really, really happy with. Um, we got a finished product. Then I changed the rod rings. And then you changed the rod rings. Yes. Yeah. We did have a. It's just a bit, obviously might as well spill all the beans there. Well, why it? not? Yeah. So yeah. That, what, uh, what we've changed with this rod here. So we've gone down to a smaller rod smaller ring. Smaller rod. This guy. is a 20, 25, 25. 25. We we did have a thirty on it. Um, before. Which is like. It's a big. It's big. It was a bit big for the rod. So Andy Kinder um, got involved and he 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 said let's try it with the twenty five. Um, and yeah, it looks better on the rod, and um, it just added two months to production. <laughs> it did add two, but it, but if we're going to bring out a product uh, for you guys out there to go and buy, want to make sure it's absolutely bang on, and the care and consideration and thought that's going into all of our products from maybe UK is second to none. It needs to be right. Steve, it needs to be it? right because you guys are spending your hard-earned money on on the products. So I mean, the value for money um, in these rods and what you actually get super. Um, is super. So they're ten foot. Uh, so we've got a, a 10 foot feeder, 11 foot feeder, 12 foot feeder, 13 foot distance feeder. Um, my favourite is the 12 foot, yours is the 11. 11 foot. So everybody's a little bit different. Steve Brindley's is the 10 foot. Um, but we've also got um, some in the, we've got the Waggler range as well. So the float range in 10 foot and 11 foot. And a little bit of a teaser for you. Oh, teaser. Te I, yeah, I don't know teaser. this. Te I might do it. Like Touching <laughs> on rods, we will. Be having another rod range come out in 2024 which is going to be the rxs range and this is going to be a more of an all-round feeder rod for commercial natural venues so keep your eyes peeled keep your, keep eyes, your peeled eyes peeled on, on made social media uh, and so for some of the live videos and on the bank of andy kinder because they will be getting used and hopefully um, we're going to have them ready to launch um for march um, yeah, just just right for uh, when the daffodils start appearing the ready for commercial packing Ready for commercial bagging. Lovely, lovely. So yeah, check check the rods out, guys. You know, every maybe oh, when I say every dealer, most of maybe dealers out there have got these rods in. Or if not, like I said it earlier, drop a question, drop a question in the comments below. We'll answer it on the next show uh, for you, and uh, we can tell you if you want to know about all the rods or the reels or you know any fishing related question you want to ask, just ask away in the comments, and uh, we'll come round to it on the next show. So we've done reels. Yeah. We've done rods. Yeah. We've done bobble hats. Yeah. Still got the tag on. Uh, not, yeah. the, not selling me at anybody either. <laughs> yeah, you look Still got the tags man. on. But you know, if you're pole fishing and things like that, and that you need a little bit of terminal tackle wise or whatever. It's time to get finesse. It's time to get that little bit of finesse in there, yeah. and we've got the new brick. Yeah. So this is nothing shot. new. This is, let's just address the elephant in the room. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's not new. It's, it's not revolutionary. It's, yeah. It's not revolutionary. It's nothing new. Um. You know. I, you know. Ricky Teal. Um. God rest his soul. Bought these out uh, when he was at Preston. The story is he found the, them a bit abandoned on the shelf and, and decided to bring them to market. But it's something that Maver hasn't had in their armory. Which I thought was really important to bring out yeah, was a, a cube based shot. Yeah. Um, so we've brought out the MBR brick um, in uh, four different sizes. So the most popular sizes um, we find for commercial fishing, which is uh, an area which we target, which is the 8, 9, 10, and 11 size. Now, the beauty of this shot is uh, every single one is, is cut perfectly, and the uniformity of the size is bang on. But also, um, again, going back to Maver's ethos. Uh, for you guys out there they are going to be purchasing the products we're giving you more we're making sure you're getting your fair share in every single packet for the price now the rrp on something like this two pound 49 uh, in your local tackle dealer not a bank breaker Steve. it's not a bank breaker um and you know it's it, it's affordable and you get you you get a really really good share as well uh, yeah of and uh, one thing i i you know i found out about using them at, uh, and that you know the quality of them mm. like 
uh, Stephen's passed on, you know, the cut sides of him. And everyone's exactly the same. Everyone's exactly the same. Yeah. They are lead. They are lead. They're not they're not cut with any cheaper ingredients, should we say. They, you know, they're not cut by tin or zinc or anything. When you start to cut lead shot with zinc and tin, that's when it becomes really, really hard. Mm. Uh, hard to get on your line, they don't move about so much. Uh, but these, you know, we're told by our suppliers, Steve, that you know they are lead, so they are quite soft. They go on your line, lovely, and, and I think that's really, really important when it comes to, you know, to using these and putting them on your line. They just go on easier. Yeah, and that's why they've got the uniformity, should we say? Big yeah, word, that, big word that for me, weren't it really? Yeah. So if you are on the lookout for an alternative, I know there's a lot of brands out there. But if you if you want to have a look and and and, and try something different, have a look in the in your shop for the MBR brick. So B R I K. Um, a lot of places have got them now. They've been hugely popular yeah. since the release. I like um, the little logo on me. Sinks like a brick. Sinks like a brick. Yeah. There we go. So MBR brick sinks like a brick. Have a look in your local tackle shop. Give these a go, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Yeah, like I said, an everyday product. Steve, you know, yeah, we don't buy rods, we don't buy reels every day, or things like that. But something like that is, yeah, it's it's an everyday sell for uh, mm -hmm. for most of the tackle dealers out there. And yeah, we knock them over, we spill them, and things like that. So always worth having a few of them in your box. No box will be complete without some bricks. Don't ever put bricks in your tackle box though, because it makes them heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, but no, the, yeah, fan, fantastic little product. Like I said, no, no bank breaker, but everybody, everybody should have them. They, they well worth, they well worth a check out. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that's the end of this week. Hope you've really enjoyed the show. Uh, it is something new we were doing. We wanted to bring you match chat uh, back through the colder climates and give you just that little bit of a fishing fix. Have a look at a few new products. Have a few laughs, tell a few stories, tell a few jokes along the way. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Steve, you enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. Good. It's, it's got to be different. It's been fantastic. So, said it all along, please make sure you like what you see. Hit the like button, subscribe. You want to ask us any questions? Anything. Anything. Well, anything. I, I don't know about anything, Steve. But if you want to ask us any fishing-related questions or any product-related questions, any product-based questions, drop them in the comments below. And we'll get back to you on the next episode of this. So until then, keep fishing, keep warm. Stay safe. Catch loads of fish. <laughs> Catch loads Stay of safe. fish. Catch loads of fish. Tight lines. We'll see you soon. See you later.